This video will provide an in-depth look at the bars and caps section of the Mallet Station Editor available for Mac, PC, and Google Chrome. So if you're trying to adjust the range of your instrument, the first thing you will do is go to the low note section here in the bars and caps section. I can then click to any lower note and save that as part of a preset. I can change it to any diatonic note from C to B. If I want to change my octave that's saved into the preset, I can change that here with the octave buttons. I can go two octaves down from the default range and two octaves up from the default range as well. If I want to create a split or a layer, I can drag this zone A over. And so now I've created two zones. I have zone A, which is on MIDI channel one, and zone B, which is on MIDI channel two. You can change the different settings of these two zones by clicking on the zone A and zone B buttons here in the bottom of the bars and caps section. If I want to see what note the zone B begins on, I can actually hover over one of the bars and see that that is bar 25. That's going to be able to give me what note that is. In this case, it's going to be the G right there. I can also change my velocity curves on a per zone basis, as well as the MIDI channels on a per zone basis. If I would like to turn on my gap caps and re-enable those for use, I can click those here and I can either enable all or I can enable selected caps. In this instance, I will enable all by clicking the enable all button. And now you'll notice if I click on one of these gap caps, it will tell me what my MIDI note number and MIDI name is for that selected cap. I can also change the curves and the curves apply to all six of the gap caps as well as the MIDI channel applies to all six of the gap caps. If I wanted to change just one cap, I will click on this second cap as an example and then I can click in this box and use my down and up arrow keys to change what note number and note name it is assigned to. This has been a look at the bars and caps section for the Mallet Station editor on Mac, PC, and Google Chrome. Thank you for watching.